Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. In the previous video, we learned that how to change the color of the text box automatically when the condition is met. In this video, we are going to learn how to show and hide the message by using a label on mouse move. Let's proceed to the developer tab and visual basic. Firstly, insert another user form and add the error message by using a label. A very important step we should take care is under the properties of the user form, scroll and look for show model. Change to false, otherwise this will interrupt the command of the existing user form. Next, let's back to the user form. Insert the label at the desired place. Under the properties of the label, type the symbol if any. If the symbol that we are looking for is not available on the keyboard, does not matter? Simply delete everything at the caption part and back to the spreadsheet. Go to the insert tab under the illustrations group. Click on icons. Search and look for the desired symbol. Click and insert. Crop and change the color if needed. Copy and back to developer tab visual basic. Scroll and look for picture. Paste it here. And now double click and write the code. Instead of using the procedure click, we should change the mouse move. Delete the unwanted procedure. And now let's type the code. Since our intention is to show the message by using this label, and the message is displayed on the second user form. So we can type user form 2 dot show. An issue we should consider is when both user forms are called by Excel, they will definitely overlap each other. To avoid that, we can consider the left position. So we can change the left position of the second user form. That is the error message. So we have user form 2 dot left is equal to, let's consider the current position of the first user form. So we have user form one dot left and now we add the width of the current user form also user form one dot width and now back to the user form double click on any part of the editable area of the user form instead of using the precision click also change to mouse move delete the unwanted procedure and now type the code to hide the error message that means we should unload user form 2 and the coding part to shows and hide error message are now done. Now we should consider to hide this symbol and show the symbol whenever needed, which means that we should add the code at the condition part. When the condition is fulfilled, that is when the user enter only numeric value, the symbol shouldn't be displaced. This is because the data provided is valid. So we should have me dot labor for for this case dot visible is equal to false. We should hide it and let's copy and paste it at the second condition where the data provided is invalid. So we should make it visible. So change to true. Let's run and check the result. Before the user provide any information, as we can see, the symbol is being displayed here. This is what we are not looking for since this is supposed to be displayed only if the condition is met. So we should back to the Visual Basic, back to the first user form, click on the label, under the properties of the label, scroll and look for visible, change to false, and now click on the user form and run again, and the symbol is disappear. If let's say we provide any invalid input, the label is being displayed and the message is shown when the mouse move on the label. If we move the cursor to any other part other than the label, the message disappear. Move again, appear, disappear, appear, and disappear. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.